Ladies and gentlemen, Brigadier General Robert F. Kohler, Virginia National Guard retired, will now deliver the invocation. The permission to ask you to be seated for just a few moments. Since he is a man of the word, I need to tell him that the word retire is not in the Bible. Please may you rise for the invocation. We thank you for Colonel Himes and his family, for the blessings that they have been and the service they have given to you, to country, and to the Corps. Your Son, our Savior, Jesus Christ, in whose name we pray, amen. March on the colors. Over. Out. Well, first of all, at this point in my life, it, it really makes it sound like I'm at, at some kind of a acme or I've achieved something after so many years. And, and while I guess 26, 26 years, years of service amount to a year or two. You know, I'm reminded of that song, Blink, about the 100-year-old man who who came, comes back and says, just don't blink because uh, you know, you'll miss things along the way. Uh, it goes by fast. And that's really the way it's been. And I think a lot of it is because it absolutely was so enjoyable for me. Um, as I mentioned, uh, at least I hope I remembered to mention in my comments that, that it was really enjoyable for me to get out of bed in the morning and look forward to going to work. And I use that term loosely because it really, it, it, was, it was a lot of fun. just breathe so much energy into you. Um, you have your 10% like you have everywhere, but you know, that, that other 90% are just absolutely dedicated to, to what they're doing. Ladies and gentlemen, please remain standing for honors to Lieutenant General Joseph F. Dunford, Jr. message that I would say to everybody is that regardless of where you are in life, you're only going to be inhibited by your own misperception of your limitations. Retire the colors. If you don't look at limits, if you don't establish a bar, there isn't anything to hold you back. So from starting into the word go, you, you just don't have the experience level. You just don't, you're, there's that fear of the unknown. Really what you have to develop in life is just an, an opportunity to break that chain. Ladies and gentlemen, please be seated. And, and just freestyle it. Don't look at life as, as there being boundaries. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, uh, distinguished guests, uh, General Bedard, uh, members of the Himes, uh, Fawcett, and uh, Tafola families, uh, thanks for joining us today at uh, this ceremony. First, to mark the change in directors at a joint non-lethal weapons. Uh, this ceremony, this first part, is, is certainly about saying thanks to Colonel Himes for his leadership uh, in his service in the three years he's been at the Joint Non-Lethal Weapons Directorate. The Joint Non-Lethal Weapons Directorate has been an absolute wonderful family. Um, they have been, uh, as I mentioned to them in numerous occasions, um, they have made the last duty of my active duty. 
uh, General Dunford. I hope to see him pinned on the stars of the, the Commandant of the Marine Corps someday. Colonel Kirk W. Himes, having served faithfully and honorably, was retired from the United States Marine Corps on the first day of October, 2009. Dear Mrs. Himes. Tracy Elizabeth Himes, and I'm Kirk Himes' wife of almost 26 years. My wife, Tracy, she's been an absolute blessing. Throughout his career, your husband has often been recognized for his achievements. Sometimes unacknowledged, however, have been your contributions to his success. I didn't think it would be possible to, to love someone more, but I absolutely have grown through the last 26 years of our wonderful marriage. It still grows. Given under my hand this 7th day of July, 2009. Oh, my, my mother's been an absolute gem over the years. She's uh, done a fantastic job. Semper Fidelis, always faithful. Looking at that as an opportunity to, to encapsulate my oath of office, to encapsulate those things that I hold near and dear, meaning that Semper Fidelis is, is a way of, of, of coming up above and beyond yourself. It's that openness to, to understand that there are bigger reasons to live out there than just ourselves. That the reason that we join the military in many ways is to serve. The way that I felt my role as an officer of Marines is to serve the Marines. And it's that concept of when you're in service, you have to remain faithful. And when you say Semper Fidelis, you're faithful to yourself. It is more than just two words put together. It's more than just a coined Latin phrase. Uh, to me, it's, it's a lifestyle. Please take your seats. General Dunford, absolutely thank you for being here. Those kind words. I don't know if those accurately reflect, but I'll absolutely try to live up to them. General Bedard, Mr. Solhan, thanks for uh, being able to, to take time out of your busy schedules to come down here and, and be with us on this occasion. Tracy, you and Jamie and the family, absolutely thank you. And you're, you're gonna have a great time. These, these are some fantastic people. And I certainly wanna thank those uh, friends and family and acquaintances that are here. I'm gonna start this out by saying, you know, I was doing extremely well from an emotional standpoint until, uh, until that last ceremony. It's kind of been a, a moment where today I can go and kind of go <sighs> and, and realize that, that this train that's uh, going a thousand miles an hour is going to take a brief stop at, a, at, the, at the way station before it heads on. Chaplain Kohler, thank you absolutely for being here and, and my friends are Redeemer. That means a lot to me because I thank God, because although there's been a lot of folks who have had a hand in the molding, uh, God has certainly gotten me to where I am today. And if without him, certainly this young teenager that was once me uh, had a very strong potential to go a different way. And uh, we, we were able to make the right decision. Says, boy, we had some kick butt times at the officers club specifically the Raskeller that was uh, downstairs. A lot of us, I can see some, some shaking of the heads that would say, hey, maybe some of those times we would have rather forgot. But this is an absolute fantastic opportunity to talk about history. 1935, this, this building was, was put in, in place here. It was built by Marines. If you go out the, the veranda here, and, and unfortunately the Marine Corps has gone to, for, for, for the right reasons I think, gone to the tri-club, so we don't just have an officer's club, an enlisted club, staff NCO club. So we'll go from here later down to our officer's club, but right up here is where the tradition is. And that's truly what we're about. We're about the Marines. You know, my favorite uh, president uh, has, one of my favorite presidents has, has a quote that I'm sure the Marines in here are very familiar with. And that was Ronald T. Reagan, 
when, when he said that there are folks who go through life wondering if they've made an impact. Marines just don't have that problem. And a reason that is, is, is literally after 26 years of living with Marines, leading Marines, and following Marines, they make an impact. I can honestly say today that I am going to not end my Marine Corps career. I'm just taking an off-road here. I have had the time of my life. My, my absolute best tour of duty was, was leading the Marines of 3rd Battalion, 11th Marines. Leading Marines in combat when, when, when everybody has had about two hours sleep and four days, when the mission is what the mission is, there is a, a complaint, they're motivated, and they are just busting their ass for each other. Wanna, I would be very remissful if I didn't start into my thanks now. Guys in the band, Marines, thanks. You are, you are truly uh, amazing. You do put the exclamation point at the end of hurrah. The uh, members of the Color Guard and, and certainly the members of the Old Glory team, thanks to the Wounded Mar uh, Marine uh, Careers Foundation. So Judith, Kev, Ken, I know you're here around this. Uh, thank you for, for being here and, and for uh, capturing this moment for us. Thank you. The, uh, the next, I've, I want to thank all the leaders and mentors I've had over the years. I'm not going to get into names. You are here. Associates that I've known, uh, worked with, I appreciate your efforts and thank you for being here. And finally, you know, I have my family. We've had some folks come from uh, uh, quite some distances. Uh, Jerry and Judy, my uncle and uh, aunt from Altoona, Pennsylvania, thanks for being here. My aunt Karen, also from, uh, well now, Haldysburg, Haldysburg, soon to be Duncansville, Pennsylvania. Uh, thank you for being here. And uh, my two sisters who, who couldn't be here because of new jobs and families. Colonel Craig Himes, as General Dunford said, Craig will retire, my younger brother. I'm uh, Kirk Himes' uh, brother, uh, 18 months younger than he, as he pointed out downstairs. He always likes to remind me of that fact, too. You know, it's always great to be the old, older sibling of 18 months is going to retire from the Army here on the 17th. Congratulations, and, and I'm looking forward to returning in favor of sitting in your audience with Cammies on. Kirk and I secretly push each other from a distance. You know, I'm kind of watching what he's doing, and he's kind of watching what I'm doing. So maybe there was a little bit of uh, competition that led to this as well. And his wife, Kathy. Kathy is here visiting as well. i got to say thanks to Mom. Mom lost her husband, and, and we lost a father back in 1984. My dad and I have talks over, have had talks over the years, even though he hasn't been here, and, and that's the only regret that I've had is that my father wasn't here to share as, as part of this ceremony. I know he's here. I know he's uh, very proud of what we've accomplished, and uh, it, he's looking down and, and saying that uh, Semper Fi brings me to my family. Morgan, the rising senior, who's uh, playing volleyball, Matt. Ryan, my two sons down at VCU, I couldn't be prouder of you three. I really am saving the best for last, and that's my bride, Tracy. You know, I, uh, I, was, I was trying to think of how I was gonna really put this in perspective, but here's a woman who gave up uh, her college education so that we could get married. Now that we've kind of settled in one area, she's not only working full time, but she is uh, uh, about half time in her college education, and, and, and going to get that completed, so Tracy, thank you. She raised three kids to, to wonderful young adulthood. She's been a key wife, a key spouse, and a key volunteer. We are living in the 17th home in 26 years since we got married. So Tracy, God bless you. I couldn't have done it without you, and I look for how many more years he's going to give us together. And as a small token of appreciation, I'm going to uh, give out some flowers here on my own. Morgan, Karen, thank you for being here. Judy, you actually, thank you for being here.
Ladies and gentlemen, please rise. give my oorah to those who I've served with.